the 26-yard line. You know, uh, Virginia Tech had taken that ball 85 yards on the drive to the six-yard line, actually 87 yards, and then lost it on the interception. And the Miami offensive line is really doing a number on the defense of the Virginia Tech team. The offensive line is big and strong, and, and uh, right now at this stage, kind of manhandling the people up front, Virginia Tech. Off to the long setback. Kelly will put it up, maybe. He gets away. Now they get him. Can't be back on the 15-yard line. Pedro Phillips and Mike Kovac. Phillips, 94. Kovac, 52. Poured in on him. Kovac really got good penetration that time. 6'3", 242. Number 52. Kelly back in the pocket. Moves to his right. Here you see Kovac, number 52, making the play. That's the first sack of the game. Virginia Tech has turned the ball over twice. Miami once. There's Kovac up in Marlboro, Maryland. Miami leading 14 to nothing. A little over six minutes to play in the first half. Smokey Ron fumbles the ball at the 20. He was hit. The ball popped loose at the 20. Let's look at, uh, behind the Miami backfield here. Roan is the tailback. There's a deep handoff. This is much like uh, uh, the ball pops loose, but Miami recovers. That tailback, they like to go back and hand off deep in the backfield, so he then has the time to look for his hole. Third. before he caught it, but a penalty mark had already dropped. That's going to be a holding penalty against Miami. And it'll be interesting to see what Virginia Tech does now on the option. They refuse it. Miami loses a down. That'll bring up a fourth down. 14 to go. The punting team comes in. Greg LaBelle. Greg LaBelle. We told you worked on karate last summer to try and strengthen his leg. All that karate leg kicking. John Ludlow is the safety man deep for Virginia Tech. He's kicking against the slight breeze of his chain. Good kick. Good kick. Ludlow. There gets called at the 46-yard line. Of Virginia Tech and the fair catch was called. A level there, a 35-yard punt, no return. We'll be back to the Peach Bowl. Miami of Florida 14, Virginia Tech nothing. Third Gowdy and Hank Stram back at Atlanta, Georgia. 5.22 to go in the first half. Virginia Tech has the ball, trailing 14 to nothing. The last time they went 87 yards. To the six-yard line of Miami, then threw the ball away on an interception. Let's see what they do with this drive. First down. Very height of motion. Play action coming up. Casey scooped out. Didn't find anybody open. Picked up short yardy. Bob Nelson, number 91. There's the University of Miami of Florida homecoming queen. You, what year did you coach at, uh, as assistant coach under Andy Gustafson? Nin 1959, and really when I think and look, watch this team play, you can't help but wonder and, and admire the great job that Andy Gustafson did at the University of Miami, got there in 1947. And really brought him into national prominence with a great win over Purdue when I was at Purdue in 1950. After we had beaten Notre Dame, they came to uh, Lafayette, Indiana, and beat us 21-14. They went back after the game. There was 100,000 people met them at the airport. Can you believe that? That's in amazing. 1950. Kelly. That last pass complete to Billy Height. 40-yard line, a first down now. Virginia Tech in Miami territory. They've been to the 25, lost the ball on an interception. They've been to the 6, lost the ball on an interception.
much for Lawrence. Two or three yards. Tackle by Bob Nielsen. Let's go down to Frank Lieber. Injury report from the Virginia Tech bench on wingback Sidney Snell. He has a sprained foot. In fact, he's been suffering from it the last five or six weeks. Played the first quarter, then had to come out. But the trainer tells me he will be back in probably in the second half. Kurt? Thank you, Frank. He's a loss, of course. He led the team in uh, receptions with 43. Broke the school record for the most touchdowns. He's a threat that uh, they badly need. Casey keeps the ball. He goes down at the 30-yard line. Very close to a first down. Again, Bob Nelson, the right tackle from Baltimore, Maryland, took him down. Casey has very clever feet. Yes, and this time it's, it's kind of a counter option. He fakes the ball, reverse pivots, fakes to the fullback going inside, fakes the pitch out to the outside, saw some running room, was finally tackled there by Rob Nelson, 6'2", 260. He saw four white shirted <laughs> players there, went down very quickly, too. Right. I don't blame him. I think he saw, I thought he saw a base, second base there, the way he yeah. slid in. He's a junior. He wants to play healthy that senior year at Virginia Tech. Now the measurement. That close, couple inches. One thing that's helped Virginia Tech lately is Casey's been hitting some passes. Completed uh, one to Jack alone, another one to Billy Height. Casey's passing record now is uh, four out of 11. But that extra dimension of some completed passes has helped the Virginia Tech attack. They're on the 30-yard line of Miami. Virginia Tech actually has outplayed Miami in this quarter. Yes, I think probably the Miami team feels that they're, uh, they're going to try to make Virginia Tech beat them with a forward pass, which is not what they do best. Casey has the first down. The sneak carry to the 29 of Miami. First down, Virginia Tech. First downs. They now have 11, and Miami has 13. Bill Dooley with the cap. He's also the athletic director of Virginia Tech. His third Peach Bowl. Two of them, as Hank told you, came when he brought his North Carolina team. Iris Lawrence. Lawrence still going to the 20-yard line. Barely had him down at the 24, but that marvelous balance kept him on his feet. He's very hard to knock off his feet. You know, the thing to watch him as he runs, watch the balance, watch the forward lean. He has, it as he's running up the field, there you see that lane, and he's hard to tackle. One guy very, un, very uh, rarely ever knocks him down or knocks him off his feet. There are his figures, 82 yards rushing already in the first half. For Cyrus Lawrence, Billy Hyde in motion. Lawrence again, finds the opening. He goes to the 15-yard line for a first down for Virginia Tech. The clock stops with 2.28 to play and a half. Tech's been down twice. And twice has come out empty. They need a touchdown badly. They're trailing 14 to nothing in the Peach Bowl. And they're doing a good job with the offensive line now of knocking them off the line of scrimmage and uh, creating some running room for Lawrence. And they're doing a good job with that right now. All right, up they come. They have Devell, the up back, 34. Lawrence, the tailback, 45. Height going in motion. They were running the ball well, and on first down, they go to the pass. You know, the, the, the thing that you have to be impressed with, too, with the Miami defense, that time, the defensive back, specifically Marion, knocked off the receiver, McKee, down as he was trying to get downfield. He did that before the ball was thrown, and, of course, that's a great pass defense, and for that reason, he had to throw the ball over the top. He was looking to hit McKee on the play. Page is in a pullback, 49, in front of Cyrus Lawrence. Second down, 10. There's Lawrence, Lawrence to the 12-yard line. Lester Williams, player in the National Football League here today. 
that was twice a Heisman Trophy winner in college. Archie Griffin, his little brother, Keith, plays on Miami. And Lawrence reminds me a little bit of him because Archie Griffin had that great strength from the waist up where the tacklers would, he would shed tacklers who hit him above the waist. Yeah, very much like him and a little bit like uh, the great back that we had at Kansas City. Mike Garrett. Yeah. And built low to the ground. Low center of gravity. Third down, seven. Big rush on. Uh, Look out. They got him. They'll throw him at the 27-yard line. That's Jim Burt, the middle guard. Number 83. No stopping him. He just peeled him off, and here I come. Well, he got a good jump. Number 83. There he comes into the picture. Makes the tackle on Steve Casey, number seven. As fourth and 21. Look at him. He needs to work on his neck a little bit. That looks like his neck's big enough. This is a weak field goal team at Goodyear Tech. He kicked only four out of 14. Lowry doing the kicking. Dennis Lowry, a 42 yard attempt. The kick is up. Up. And it is good. Bill Dooley said to the sporting Kurt, we can't kick a field goal. They just kicked a 42 yard field goal. And Virginia Tech is on the board. Three times they threatened here in this second period. They haven't had a touchdown, but they finally get the field goal. Is there a flag down? Let's see. No warning. We're going to penalize him. 15 yards on the kickoff. We'll kick off in the 30, 40. The coach is not the coach. We've told him. Now let's see what this is about. They're penalizing Miami. 15 yards. The 15-yard penalty assessed against the Miami Hurricanes. And so uh, Virginia Tech will kick off from the plus 45. And I would think they'll be going for an onside kick. And sports would like conduct. 29 seconds left in the clock. Uh, Kurt, I'm sure they'll try the onside kick with the hope and expectation of getting the recovery. They're kicking off from the Miami 45. The score 14 to 3. Miami leading Virginia Tech. 29 seconds to go in the half. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Miami players are up there within uh, 15 yards of the ball, and they are always the players with the quickest hands and the quickest feet. You know, the other interesting thing about an onside kick, 40% of the time, the kicking team recovers it. Unusual stat, isn't it? 40%? the onside kick dribbling down it doesn't go far enough and it's out of bounds and we may have a re-kick now out of bounds didn't go the 10 yards unless uh, Miami wants it there the illegal procedure on the kicking team refused first down white yep they want the ball where it went out of bounds They'll take over under 37, and they have a great passing arm quarterback named Jim Kelly. We may try and put it up here now and see what he can do in the last 29 seconds. Virginia Tech outplayed in the first quarter. Early in the second quarter has come back and has dominated the game since the middle of the second period. They're in a slot right formation. Deep, deep, deep. That one could be intercepted. And it is. Up to the ball is Mike Shannis. Mike Shannis intercepts it. 21 seconds to go. I want to remind you this weekend, let's watch the interception. And he went back into the pocket with the express purpose of just throwing the ball as deep as he could downfield, hoping for some kind of a big play. But there's no way. They had a lot of people back there very deep. And uh, the defensive back does a good job of leaping and making the catch. Mike Sharmas on the play. This week.
weekend CBS Sports and NFL action, NFC playoffs. Join us tomorrow at 12 Eastern.